So here we meet again. So uh, we will solve in this uh, recording exercise 5.8. So it's in, on page 56 in the booklet. So um, if you want uh, to check the solution online, you can check the link in the description of this video. So we are asked to write a program that declares two integer variables x and y. The user must enter their values and then exchange their values, swap x and y. So at the end, x should take the value of y and y takes the value of x. So let's start. Uh, we are asked to, to declare uh, and to use two variables x and y. So the user should enter the values of these variables. So a small message, please enter two integers. And we will follow a printf by a scanf, percentage d, percentage d, and the address of x, the address of y. And we need to exchange. So at the end, so let's put a printf here, values before the exchange, exchange. So it would be. Uh, Let's write here x percentage d comma y percentage d backslash n and we will put the value of x in the first percentage d and the value of y in the next in the uh, value in the value of y. So here we will do the exchange. So exchange here x change here. And at the end, we will print up again the values of x and y just to be sure that we have correctly exchanged the value. So values after the exchange. So we need to swap the value. So the value of x would be in y and the value of y would be in x. So we are attempting to write something like this. So the value of y, for example, let's run it and see that this is uh, wrong. Run let's say 2 in x and 3 in y so we have before the exchange x in 2 and 3 in y after the exchange if we use these two instruction we'll end up with x equal to 3 and y equal to 3 why because the value of y is 3 at the beginning of the program and we have assigned the value of 3 to the value of x so in x we have now 3 and then we have a put 3 in y so at the end we will have x equal to 3 and y equal to 3 so we are tempted also to exchange these two instructions. So let's rerun the program and see again that it's wrong. So again, 2 and 3. At the end, we will have x equal to 2 and y equal to 2. Let's see why. We have here x equal to 2. We have assigned to y. We have put in y the value of x, which is equal to 2. So now x and y would be equal to 2. Then the value of y, which is equal to 2, I will put it in x. So at the end, we will have both values equal to y. So in order to exchange any two variables, we have seen in the first semester that we need to declare one third variable, an auxiliary variable, in order to just save the value of the old value of y. So in this example, the value of y, which is equal to 3, was lost. So in order to reuse it, we need to save it first. So first, I will save the value of y in auxiliary. Then I will put the value of x in y. And then I should put x in x, the old, the old value of y, which is now in auxiliary. So let's rerun the program and check if it's correct or not. So I will again put 2 in x and 3 in y. So before the exchange, there's 2 in x and 3 in y. And after the exchange, there are 3 in x and uh, 2 in y. So again, in order to exchange any two variables, we need to use one auxiliary variable. So uh, this is true. And the same applies if we first save the value of x and then we put the value of y in x and then in y we put the old value of x so either that or the following is also correct you know so i will comment it in order to use just one of these solutions so this is now for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to 
comment on this uh, video or to send me a message and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the funky bell icon on the right to turn on notifications.